yeah, striker, um, and and what will put him down in history is the 38 league and cup goals he he got in their two championship seasons, which um, the first year he actually scored the decisive one at Bolton Wanderers where they won 2-1. He scored the second goal, and uh, that won Pompey the game, and it won Pompey the first division championship for the f first time in their history. So, you know, yeah, he rightly. Rightly a selection and for the Hall of Fame. Again. Centre forward Clark lobs over Jones and it's a goal for Portsmouth. Two minutes that equalised through Clark. Towards the end, when everyone was beginning to think they'd have to play extra time, Clark got his second, Pompey's winning goal. Uh, there was a lot more sort of physical on the goalkeepers, uh, as, as if anybody that sees the old slides uh, will be aware of. So, yeah, the, the sort of sort of guy you know you would you would have ne needed in those days. Uh, one one year, I think he scored 17 league goals, and, and uh, the, the others a few, a few less. But uh, nevertheless, you know he was the top goal scorer in that second year. So he's. If you uh, compartmentalise it, he, he, the first year he, he scored the decisive goal that won it, and then the second season he's the top goal scorer, um, which which is significant in winning you the championship. The little winger beats his man, sends the ball over squarely, and Ike Clark nods in the equaliser. And this is it. Ike Clark scores a solo winner to bring the cup still nearer to possible. He scored two goals before the 51,000 uh, Pompey against Derby County in the FA Cup, which was Pompey's biggest ever recorded crowd, and I guess <laughs> that will always remain um, unless <laughs> unless Fratton Park gets gets built somewhere we don't know about. So you know, again, forever go down in history, and and, and again, a rightful choice.